Hey, what's going on? Chris here from Mixdown Online. And today I'm going to answer a question. But this time, this one is coming from Lucas, who is asking, Chris, just a quick question. What is the difference between the method you used at the beginning of your video, bounce selection, and the glue option? I mean, in the case you showed. Thank you. So Lucas is referring to a Cubase Tips video that I did a few weeks ago. So I'm going to leave the link right here on top or in the description down below. So in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between using the glue tool versus the bounce selection feature found in Cubase. Now, if you're new here on the channel, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And for all of you, share and like this video. Okay, let's jump in Cubase and look at the difference between the glue tool and the bounce selection feature. Now, if you want to know more about what bounce selection is all about, I did some videos in the past few weeks talking about that. So I'm going to leave the links in the description down below. So what we have here are one track with several audio events. Uh, now, like I did in one of my last video, I was talking about bounce selection. So the goal with bounce selection is to consolidate uh, those uh, events into one event. So for example, here on uh, those events, I have uh, different types of uh, gain applied okay so the clip gain is a bit different from one event to another uh, on this event if I go into my direct offline processing I have a compressor on this one uh, and on this one I have a delay now this is only for the purpose of this video okay so this is not an actual uh, recording that I'm gonna keep um, but the, the point is uh, when I'm happy with this uh, those uh, edits and um, those events and if I want to consult date them into one audio event what I need to do like you've seen before you select all of those events and you go into audio down to bounce selection and click on replace and that creates a brand new event um, from all of those separated events um, so there you go so this is basically what bounce selection is now as far as the glue tool is if I go back one step go back to my separated events. Um, now, I'm going to use this time the glue tool. I'm going to select uh, all of those events. And instead of bouncing uh, those selection into a new audio event, I'm going to use the glue tool. Click on the glue tool on top and click on all of those selected events. And now I have a glued event. What that means, uh, it means that I have the advantage of copy pasting that event if I want to, if I want to loop that, I can actually um, I can just split that glued event into several other events and copy those over if I want to. Okay, so this is the type of thing I can do. Um, it keeps my track in order, you know, so I don't have like a bunch of events all around the place. Um, so this is the advantage of using the glue tool if needed. It's not something that I use all the time, but it is quite useful in some situations. But in the other hand, I don't have access to a fade in and fade out. Okay, because it's not an audio event, it's a glued event. I can't reduce or increase my gain by using the clip gain because it's not an audio event. It's a glued event. So uh, the cool thing about glued events is that you can double click on them and have access to all of your events that are glued together. It's like a folder, basically. So you open the folder and you get access to your uh, separate, uh, separated events. So you can tweak around with them. If, uh, for example, you hear a glitch between uh, by listening to that event, you can go back and make sure you have some crossfades uh, applied uh, between those events. If you want to just tweak around with the gain of that one event, you can do so. And look, uh, it's going to show directly on the main glue event on top okay so this is the type of thing you can do uh, with glued events so it's not the same as bounce selection 
This is the main difference between the two. You glue a bunch of events together, you're always going to get access to those events within that glued event. Um, and even within that, that glue event, you can do whatever you want. You can copy those events within each other if you want to. And this is going to, you know, look, as you can see on top, it's going to affect the uh, what you're going to see within the glued event on your project window. So I hope that makes sense for you. Uh, so there you go. So this is the main difference between the glue tool and the bounce selection feature for audio events. And I said audio events because when it comes to media events, now this is a bit different. Now we're talking about something else. Now the glue tool for media events is going to work a bit like bounce selection does for audio. So I'm going to select the glue tool and I'm going to glue those two MIDI events together. Just click on the first one and it's going to glue itself with the following MIDI event. So this is basically what a glue, the glue tool will do to MIDI events. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. If so, share and like this video. And again, if you're new here on the channel, feel free to subscribe and to click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. All right, I'm gonna wish you guys a wonderful day and I'm gonna see you next time.